Hey, uh, this is Pokeball 35. I shouldn't do this. It's leaking. Why does the squid? The squid just always likes to leak. It's fine for a while, and then the squid starts leaking. This is Pokeball 35. Welcome back to Splatoon 1. Uh, the day I am recording and streaming this is the 29th of May, uh, which means it's now the six-year anniversary in America. Yesterday was the six-year anniversary in Japan, so it's still technically the six-year anniversary. Except the day this will go up, it'll be the 30th, which means it's no longer the six-year anniversary, but I'm still doing this anyway. Uh, today's plan is that we, uh, yesterday did the entirety of the, uh, single-player story. Uh, today we are going to be doing amiibo-related activities. There are things related to amiibo that we are going to be doing today, and then some other things after, uh, and then also for the stream I'll probably be, like, more- doing more smurfing, because I think that's fun. <clears throat> I also want to read this dialogue, because I haven't read- uh, read the- the stage battle- the, the battle stage dialogue for Cowling and Marine Ages. Blackbilly Skate Park Turf. Thank God I hit level 10 yesterday. Look at this place. Today's youth are so spoiled. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and kelped them again. Oof. It's so humid here. Battling makes me super sweaty. Yeah, I need a cold shower just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, we all we all hate kelped them. Don't worry. And then the ranked stage. Just watch it be more a bet. Oh, I don't wanna. Oh my gosh! Look, Marie! That outfit is adorbs! That reminds me. No window shop during battle. And anchovy. That's also not bad. Uh, the stages might switch while I'm streaming, though. So, these won't really matter, but... The cafeteria here is free for employees. Where do I apply? Until next time, stay fresh! I don't think I said this last time. Uh, but... Uh, back when I was in high school, uh, when I was first starting... Uh, my senior year, they wanted you to get, like, go to the school, like, a couple weeks early to get, like, your picture taken so that it would be in the yearbook for, like, the end of the year. Um, uh, they let you do whatever you want for one of the pictures, and I really wanted to do the stay fresh pose. Like, I did that in one of the pictures, and then my mom was like, no, you can't use that. But no, I want to use the stay fresh picture where it's me doing the pose. Uh, that didn't happen. I don't think, I, I don't think that's in there. Uh, but yesterday after I did the single player, I did some turfing. On this Smurf account, uh, I then I play a little bit more off stream. So now I'm level 10. We're gonna be doing more stuff after. Uh, before I get into the amiibo stuff, I just want to watch something with you all. Uh, let us watch the Splatoon One trailer, <laughs> the extended version. You remember the Splatoon One extended trailer? Only. It still baffles me <laughs> that this was the trailer for the game. I'm gonna make this a little bit tiny, a little bit louder. I do like the tagline, Splat the World Together. Nope. Hold on. There we go. I wanted to find the controls for the video, so that way I can rewind it a bit after we're done. They just call it Ink Storm. That's not Ink Storm, that's Ink Strike. No one cares about Salt Spray. Are you, are you sure about that? Are you sure Black Bay Skate Park's fun?
May 29th. Get inked May 29th. That's today. <sighs> this trailer is still fun. Except, like, I still can't believe that this game was marketed as such. But, like, I wanted to, like, go through it a little bit. Because, like, look at this. Look at this black belly. Look at these stairs on black belly. <laughs> the stage was even smaller in pre-release footage. Oh, that was a different trailer. We can I can download that one. Where it goes, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid for like 30 seconds. Uh, but like, here's old uh, urchin underpass. Let's not. You're right. Uh, but I wanted to find one particular f part of this trailer. Because there's other trailers to this game where like, Walleye Warehouse is completely different. Because that, that's pretty much the same. But it was a frame somewhere over here on Triggerfish because pre like old Triggerfish was super weird, and now I'm not finding it. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at old Triggerfish. Look at the lack of wall. It's just a straight line, and you can just shoot. What's really interesting is that you know what I can do this too. Uh, we can get rid of that. You can go to the eShop without the game actually, like, turning off. <laughs> so let's just go to the eShop real quick. <laughs> and you get to see these icons for these games that some of them I don't actually own anymore. These the games I do own. Some of them it shows games that I don't own anymore, like Game & Wario. I sold Game & Wario a long time ago, which now I kind of regret because I'd love to stream Game & Wario. Uh, but I can't because I don't have it anymore. I do own AVGN Adventures. I've never played it. Same thing with uh, DuckTales Remastered. I bought them on Wii U and never played them. Those will probably be future streams. Oh. Uh, well, since this is a new account... Oh. Uh, this is a different account, and it wants me to... Do things related to the eShop. I just wanted to look at stuff. Also, the eShop music, though. Like, why don't we have eShop music anymore? I just wanted to look at the Splatoon page here because I wanted to show it to you. Uh, because there's some old screenshots here, like this one. Uh, but mostly I wanted to do that one. Here's old, more old Triggerfish, uh, before Triggerfish was added to the game. This, this, the area is so open. There's no giant wall on either side. It's so cursed. <laughs> and like, this is still here on the eShop. Oh, uh, there's some single-player stuff, and then more things. Uh, the ink brush got added to this game, like, a week after it came out. So, like, seeing these screenshots was also weird, because it's like, whoa, how do you get the ink brush? Ink brush wasn't in the game yet, and there's more single-player screenshots. Uh, but I just wanted to show you Cursed Triggerfish. There's also these videos. There's, like, update trailers and, like, the Nintendo Minute stuff. Um... I could have just gone here to show the extended cut of the trailer. I didn't need to download it. Um, but this this guy, um, I don't know who this guy is, but I watched some of these videos a while ago, and he's like, how to how to play the game. Uh, I hate these videos. They are very much directed toward, like, five-year-olds. <laughs> and that's not the target demographic for Splatoon. It's more like uh, teen to 20s and up <laughs> stuff. But a bunch of old Splatoon trailers are here if you want to watch them on Wii U. Uh, if you have the Wii U. Or you can just find them on YouTube. I just wanted to show you Cursed Triggerfish. The original trailers were targeted at five-year-olds, you know? It makes me upset. Anyway, without further delay, I've been live for 15 minutes now. Uh, here's the Amiibo box. Uh, fun fact, on the back of the Amiibo box, I don't think it's possible to actually see it in-game. But on the back of the Amiibo box, uh, you can actually see, um, like, Mario on the back, like an actual Amiibo box. It's easier to see in Splatoon 2. Uh, but we're gonna start with my girl here. I have dubbed her... Squib Grill. Dude, let me tell you, I am so glad you called me. I'm picking up a fresh vibe from you. Tell me, are you a fan of charger weapons? 
Oh, th yeah, absolutely. <laughs> totally. Because that's my kind of thing. Making up challenges where you gotta use chargers. Are you game? Come to think of it, you've been poking around down in Octo Valley, yeah? Yup, I saw you in that rat outfit, fighting those things. It's super fun. But you know what would be even ratter? If you used a charger weapon. <laughs> oh, boy. That's my challenge to you. Clear my missions with a charger, and I'll hook you up. So here in the Amiibo challenges, you play story levels again, but you use a charger with this particular Amiibo. And that is what we will be doing. Uh, it's like half the levels in the game. Uh, it's like three levels from one area, from one sector, and then you move on. Uh, we're going to be pretty much speedrunning through these because there's no reason to try and like get collectibles and stuff because I already got all the collectibles in the story. So we're just going to start with Octo Trooper Hideout. Uh, by doing these rewards, uh, you get money that you can use in m online stuff. So it's also worth doing it for that. But you also get other rewards besides money. So here we are. Just regular old thing. But now we have this cool looking charger called the Hero Charger. It is just a charger. And actually, I do think uh, these... Really, that doesn't go through the box. This game sucks. That would totally go through the box in Splatoon 2. I do think the power uh, eggs you, you get here do count toward your single player status, if you really care about getting all the upgrades. The majority of advertising was all for Splatoon. It's so... it sucks that it's like that. Man, you can't get collaterals? I just want to get some collaterals. And the game won't let me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we're going to be doing a lot of these levels because uh, the Inkling Boy, Girl, and Squid Amiibo all have their own uh, separate challenges. Some of them take place in the same levels. I definitely know like level one is used every single time. But I do want to showcase these. I'm just curious what happens if I go try and get the scroll. Like, okay, the scroll box is just replaced with more power eggs. It's also really cursed going back to Splatoon 1 chargers where you can't hold your charge because that's a Splatoon 2 feature. So, like, I'm not doing cool stuff with Charger. Like, I'm pretty okay at Charger now because of Splatoon 2's Charger mechanics. Come on, please. Wow. What is this game? Well, for the most part, it's still all the same levels. But I'm still leaving everything in. That didn't hit. Uh, it's, uh... Back here, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna jump on top of the last box instead of breaking it. Because we can. Also, just tap-shotting with chargers sucks in this game, too. Because, like, it doesn't paint, like, like a good straight path. Like, you, you're gonna be stuck in a little bit of em enemy ink when trying to swim through, like, a one charger path. Like a, like a tap shot. Ah, uh, but there's that. Noise! And you get your money added to your total. OMG, you really did it! Here you go, this is a, the reward I promised. And there you go, that level is complete. And now we go to Octo Balls. <laughs> what the lingo in this game? Uh, where Callie says yayer in this, in the single player, and like, m the my amiibo is saying OMG. Uh, remember that time where it was like a Splatfest thing? Uh, and Callie uh, was saying something where it's totally on fleek that she can't even? That was like a real piece of dialogue in the game. Honestly, I could just, you know, not fight the Octoball. ball. 
I definitely think the boy challenges and uh because the boy challenges are with roller spoiler alert and i'm not going to spoil what the the squid challenges are but i definitely think those two are a lot better than the than the girl ones which is why we're starting with the girl ones first so that we can just get it out of the way also you cannot look straight down like i cannot look straight down i'm pretty sure you can look straight down in splatoon too get out of here Just do this. Oh my god, the painting. The painting! Let me out! Die. Die? Okay, no. Well, I'll reach chat in a sec. There we go. Uh, let's climb up here. And that activates a black heart every time you take fake damage. Well, oh, that that definitely speeds things up. All right, well now I have to kill the octo balls with charger, which is really just a tap shot, just one tap shot. You don't even need a full charge. Please, just knock them off the edge. Uh, can't I just do this? Target practice. Um, because I think I could just do this. Oh uh, no, but the squeegee wants to be brewed. Okay, well fine, we'll use the cannon. The aiming feels so awkward. Uh, however, no, squeegee, do not get that. I, I kind of need that ink. Kinda need that ink. Nope, we are not worrying about you. We're just gonna go. I mean, there is only three levels and a boss fight in World 1 of this. Noise! You doing hush because fuck it? Uh, I've been doing some of the daily Isaac runs off stream just to attempt to get a uh, broken modem because I don't have that yet and I think that's the reward for winning a bunch of dailies like winning seven dailies which out of all this time I've done so many and I've thrown so many away <laughs> but I have actually gotten some really good runs in the daily runs and I wanted to go fight hush but I'm like I don't want to fuck this up I think I did see a, uh, like, a video of how it used to work, where, like, the enemy bullets would, like, get stalled. Just think so good this. The enemy bullets would get stalled, and, like, they'd still be there after being stalled, so it would just mess with all bullet patterns. But now I think those bullets just disappear. So I didn't turn my phone alarm, or my phone notification thing off. Bunny! This level with charge is kind of sucky. What's nice about Splatoon 2, and what I really like about Splatoon 2 single player, is that it actually lets you uh, play different stages with different weapons, and those weapon those stages are built around those weapons. And then you can go back and play them with all the other weapon types if you so choose. So now we're just playing spider shot levels, but with a charger, which doesn't really change a whole lot. But well, we are just speed running through this because we don't need to hunt for collectibles anymore. It also dupes rewards, yo. Yeah, after the stream when I have to go edit things, especially this because I have to edit this to have it go up tomorrow, I'll probably play the daily. Anyway, here is Octo Stomp again. Uh, what you get from the bosses is that the amiibos have exclusive gear that you can only get from the amiibo. After completing a boss, you get part of the exclusive gear. I just dropped the amiibo on the ground. Uh, in Splatoon 2, you can get the same gear. It's just that you have to be, like, level 10, and then just scan the amiibo, and it's like, here's the gear. I really wish they had other sorts of stuff with the amiibo. Oh, nope. 
with the amiibo in Splatoon 2, other than just you scan it and you get the gear. Um, however, you can take pictures. But now we have to snort sh the tentacles point blank. It's honestly better to just tap shot, really. I can skip all the cutscenes, you've seen it all. If you watched my stream yesterday, or if you watched the, the full story mode playthrough, dude, chill. Oh wow, this sucks. I'm surprised- I am surprised I got up there, and I am surprised I broke that tentacle. Then you can just snipe the tentacle? I probably could. Like, I probably don't even have to climb up here, but there you go. And then you, you know what the spin is like. I'll just grab these because they count. Pew! Pew! There's all of World 1 with a charger. Nice! You get, you get the squid hair clip. Okay, that was straight up amazing. Here, you totally earned this reward. And there we go. Now we're on to part of World 2. Cannot wait till we eventually get to the squid amiibo, because the squid amiibo has the best stuff on it. But you gotta get the bad stuff out of the way first. Can't hit him. Game. Alright. Rude. I'm trying to, like, do Splatoon 2 tech in this game, and it's not working. Uh, screw this. Uh, screw the Octoball. We're just gonna go. the optimal way to turn on the sponges. Uh, I think I can just jump over them. As soon as they die, the path activates. Perfect. Bionk. Womp. Automatopoeia. Get me through here. Easier to kill certain enemies. Must be able to delete this. It's a pain in the ass to complete sometimes. Indeed, I did do some co uh, delete this runs for fun off stream after I've already completed it. I did get some really hilarious results, and then the game crashed. Go. I don't know if you saw the clip, because I think I put it in a group chat with you. Or like, a room would just constantly duplicate enemies and spawn coins, and like I thought I was softlocked because I was there for like two minutes straight. <laughs> of just like all the enemies re-rolling over and over again every time I picked up a coin, but then the coins would duplicate. So... Ow. I'm just gonna ignore all of these, we don't need to be here. Hey, Octarians, we're just gonna... Yoink right past you. Who needs checkpoints? Want the free stuff, and then while I wait for the platform to come back down, I guess I can beat you up. Get me up.
Yeah, there's really no point in full charging most of the time in these levels. Which kind of sucks. It's like, Tap Shot just does everything. Uh, you need to... You need to... Die? Some of these levels are pretty short, so it's a, a really easy to get to the end. It is so hard to aim upward. Upward and downward with most weapons in Splatoon 1. There's a bunch of eggs here. I don't think I got those last time. Got it. Pet, pet, pet. On the little plushie's head. Noise. Next. I need to figure out how to salvage this squid. I've had so much liquid leak out of this thing, but there's still so much liquid still in it. I have more of them. Let me up. Oh. Can I hit that from here? Oh. They don't let you cheese it. Too many armor, so the armor isn't really necessary. Uh, I can almost get up. Oh my god, we cheese that. We cheese that. Man, if only these were cool grind rails. We have to swim over to the next part. So I have been watching uh, just random Splatoon related videos and one thing that I watched a video on was like what the possible story for Splatoon 3 can be and I really really hope that they can actually come up with something cool like I want Octavio to be like a good guy because Octavio was the bad guy twice in a row and now I think he's probably learned his lesson especially now with like Octolings, like, not being under his rule anymore. He could just not be involved at all, or he could just, like... It could be, like, trope of, like... You're losing, and then all of a sudden, like, your arch-nemesis becomes good and teams up with you. There's definitely something related to Salmon happening. Also, here's the school uniform. Just pure chaos. Uh, DG Octavio consumes one of uh, the seven chaos golden eggs and becomes God. Anyway, this boss is actually like even easier uh, with the charger because you can just do that. I didn't hit that. What? Yay. What a boss fight. Pop those. 
When I first found out about Splatoon, I really wanted Chargers to be, like, my main weapon, because I always, I always thought, like, the just big line of ink that they make was really cool. And then, like, I found out that you actually have to, like, play Charger. <laughs> to play Charger, and I never played Charger in this game. I pick up some Chargers every now and again, like, uh, Squiffer and GooTuber. In Splatoon 2, because GooTuber's fun. People hate on GooTuber, GooTuber's dope. Hey, there's school uniform. Uh, it's... Those levels done! Hello, Error. Welcome to the stream. I can't remember what I played the most of in the demo for this game, but it was probably Roller. Oh, we're just gonna... Ignore these Octarians. So we're just gonna ignore these Octarians. Need to factory reset your laptop and all the files because it was being laggy. That sucks. Hopefully you backed everything up that you needed. If there was like anything important there. Let me on, let me on, let me on. Alright, so now we're just gonna... Slowly make a path because the Octarians are too stupid. Oh, okay. Nope. I thought the platform was below me. Never mind. I thought I could land on the platform. Okay, these guys have enough health where you have to full charge them. And spy one charges were definitely busted with damage up. I just didn't like playing them. You know me, the arrow spray main. I did end up re unlocking arrow spray uh, for this game, so we're gonna be playing a bunch of that. Because I was like Arrow Spray MG only until I actually found out how to get slightly good at the game, and then I started picking up 96 Deco, and near the end of this game's uh, life, uh, I picked up Octobrush a little bit. That's why I wanted to play Octobrush a lot in Splatoon 2, which I did. I just kind of stopped playing Octobrush after a while just because there's so many weapons in the game. Let me on! Game's being rude. Like, this level's really long and I hate falling off. Let me up, damn it. No, we're not risking that. Oh, I don't like being over here. Let me on. Oh, that was not nice. I've never done it that way before, but here we go. Also, you haven't noticed the only bomb you can use in these challenges is Splat Bomb. You can't use Burst Bombs or Seekers, sadly. But all the power eggs you get here do count, so you can just go upgrade them in the single player if you want. Alright, we have our first Octoling battle, so now we get to snipe some C- players. On an actual stage. Let me up. Chargers don't paint anything on the wall in this game. What if I just tap shot them? Add insult to their AI injury. Aw, uh, Inksuka? Aw, uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh. Doesn't matter, we'll just go up here. <laughs> We're good. I mean, saying C- is probably not uh, accurate now, because I'm probably a majority of C- players in this game are Smurfs. Which we'll be seeing later on after I complete all the Amiibo challenges. We'll be doing some, uh, some Smurf, some Smurf ranked since I leveled up to level 10. Alright, here we have an oct the Octo Striker level on Bluefin. Get out of here. Right, you have, these guys got the full charge. Game. Also, if anything cool happens from doing Smurf Ranked, I'll make a video out of it, but I don't know if that'll happen. Oh, I just murdered that guy. Right. Up, you put it right on top of the Gusher, except the Gusher doesn't activate for you, so you suck. I feel like... Fighting the Octo Striker is even easier here because you can just do that. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, my poor. We have boss number three, we get school shoes. I really don't care for the school uniform outfit other than the, the S hair clip. Because the S hair, uh, hair clip has swim speed up and is also cute. School uniform reminds me of school, except I never had to wear a school uniform in school because my school was actually good. But I do know people who actually had school uniforms and I feel sorry for them. Uh... This boss is kind of slightly annoying with the charger, but we're still good. Actually, we could probably just tap shot everything. And just paint enough like that. Uh... I didn't have any ink. I didn't know if I was going to get that. Cool. Did not think I was going to get that first try. I thought like, I was going to mess up like once. We're good, though. See, doing this goes really quickly, since it's only three levels and then the world boss. The only thing that sucks is that we have to fight Octavio again three times. However, the Octavio boss fight's good, so I don't really care. <laughs> Alright. Just a little bit more to go. I do think it'll take, like, an hour per amiibo, though, unless I, like, suck a lot, though, so. However, I didn't play the game for the first 15 minutes of the stream, so it might not be like that. Good luck with your grind thousand grind today. 
And the fact that you can't shoot boxes through boxes with the charger in this game is devastating. Alright, just do absolutely nothing when I do that. I thought three shots would be enough! It would make the Octo Expansion puzzles easier, you're right, but also... No. I mean, at least some of the Octo Expansion puzzles make it easier. There are some puzzles where you have to use Charger to break a bunch of boxes in a certain amount of time, and that wouldn't be good. Alright, they give me a Bubbler here. Charger with Bubbler. What am I, a Squiffer? I should've used it. <laughs> Trying to use this point blank against an AI not working really well. Let me just do this. There we go. Now we're slightly in the air. Okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hello, Lars. Welcome to the stream. Alright, now we actually have a sniper battle, because we're doing the Octo Sniper level, but we're a Charger. I can't, like, dip into the ink and be cool. Well, I was, he did that on his own accord. I didn't actually push him off. He just fell. Uh. Just like that. Get through here. Those platforms with the windmills on them. Floating platforms with the windmills on them remind me of Windy Valley from Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Friendship ended with light ending with lightning read. Fat Beats now my best friend is like the story of the game. <laughs> Cause I did nothing but lightning read early game in that game, and then I realized, oh Fat Beat's really good. I'm just gonna use that forever. Because Fat Beat Ow. Not only deals with the, uh, general population of zombies in the game, it helps deal with the, uh, the Dominators. And also, uh, it helps deal with chickens and weasels instead of using lightning reeds. So, like, really the only reason, and also, like, deals with imps really, uh, a lot better. So, can I get up here, please? So there's only a couple levels where I'd want to continue to use light, uh, continue to use lightning ring, but for the most part, it's just that beat.
Nice. Nice. Alright, is this the Urchin Underpass level or nah? I wasn't looking at the title. No, it's another- it's the other Bluefin level. It's gonna follow the path. Hello there. I cannot shoot the C-. minus. I am the C-. minus. How about I just don't fight them? Never mind. Uh. <laughs> never mind. I somehow missed those through the grates. Because I'm just good at the game. Alright, hold on. I don't know how I missed that before. I'm just gonna grab this armor just in case. <laughs> What if we just... What if we just go past the Octoling? <laughs> what if we just do that? Alright, Octomaw. So, once you get all the gear, uh, each amiibo... Uh, comes with its own mini game. Hello, Yoshi Castle. Welcome to the stream. Something I didn't talk about uh, is that in the plaza, uh, just the regular Inkopolis Plaza, there's an arcade machine where you can play like a little Doodle Jump clone. You can also play that mini game uh, while waiting for a match to start, uh, which is especially useful now when lobbies are a lot more dead in 2021. Uh, but you only get Squid Jump by default. By having the Amiibo, you get extra ones. And the Squid one is the best one because you get a rhythm game. And instead of just playing the rhythm game, you can just listen to the music. So you can just listen to the entire game's OST while in the hub. Or like the... Like just the plaza itself. Or like when waiting for a match, you can just listen to whatever song you want. So you can listen to like single player songs. What the hell? You didn't get me before. Or you can just... Shoot a hole right there. Stop it. That explosion really sends you back. I will showcase... Actually, I don't even know if I can showcase the minigames. I think I can show them on screen. I hope. Because I don't have a way to capture gamepad footage. Uh, but I think... The arcade machine puts them on the screen. I hope. If not, I'll just have to like hold my gamepad up to the screen and you won't even, I won't even be able to see the game. So... If anything, you can just probably look them up. If you want to. Yes. Uh, the yellow question marks mean all random Grisco weapons. After we're done with everything I want to do in Splatoon 1 today, at the end of the stream, we're going to go back to Splatoon 2 and play Salmon Run. So there we go. We got a minigame. And now we only have three more levels and the final boss. Uh, that'll be at 8 p.m., so about three hours from now. Uh, because it does not open until then. I don't know how that Octo Stamp just got distracted, but I'll take it. In before all Grizz Kilbrella. I mean, Grizz Kilbrella's good. I feel violated. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. 
Uh, I can't actually hit the box from there, so we're just gonna ignore the box. Uh, here we go. Here's Inzuka. Yoink. I missed the last one. Let's hit the balloon just because I can. You know, I'd love to actually show off Battle Dojo. Because I could probably play Battle Dojo by myself, just to show it off. Except the fact that I don't own uh, any uh, old Wii Classic controllers. I did at one point, but they are not in my household. So... I would have liked to do that. It was upsetting that I do not have the means to actually play it by myself. Because I did Pikmin 3 Deluxe Bingo Battle by myself to get the achievements, I would not be afraid of just not be against playing Battle Dojo by myself. Can I get this first try? I'm I'm in squid form. I don't know why it doesn't do that. This part is like annoying. It just wants you to slowly go down. There we go. All right, Inzuka. Splat charger with Inzuka. I can just miss. What if I bombed it? I don't enjoy this. <laughs> Die. <laughs> We're good there, just only a couple casualties. Balloons ignore pea shooters, just use fat beat. Fat beat hits all flying things, and I believe two fat beats uh, is enough to take out one balloon. You should just have the two rows of them though, because sometimes just having them in one row doesn't work. It's the last stand. Sling P. Okay, well, this level's nice as a charger. So I get to just do this. Uh, however, this is in the way. Can I just... Fuck. <laughs> you can make those jumps. It's gotta be faster. I pressed the jump button to get out of the way of that? Why are you being rude to me? And now this thing's going the other way. <laughs> and I'll go this way instead. get all the way over here. Never mind. Just 
This game is being brewed. Please do not go this way. I don't, you, why are you doing this? Oh my god, there's so many of them. I just want to get back here. Excuse me. I really wish I had Seekers. Please, just... Get me through. Alright, awesome. Oh, I could just not press the jump button that time. Okay, now we need to hit the sniper. Because he has the key. Get me over there. Now screw your armor. I'm just gonna walk slowly up to it and bomb throw. I just noticed the end of that level you're on un you're underneath like a deactivated uh thingy shower guy, whatever the hell the thing's called. Uh flutter. <laughs> and then we have this level, and then we have uh, Octavio. And then I don't have to play charge. Uh Give me the key! <sighs> I don't know why that was troubling me. Alright, well, again, this guy is easy. And then I'll just have the, the ink strike land on top of me at the end. I think it's the first time I've actually seen the enemy ink still stay here. Uh, after completing the level. Alright, now we must fight DG Octavio with a charger instead of a splatter shot that shoots like an arrow spray. For completing the final boss, you would just get the weapon itself. This is the only way in the entire game uh, to get the Hero Charger. Uh, it is locked through the amiibo. The Hero Charger is only just a weapon skin for the charge, like the regular Splat Charger, so it will still have Splat Bomb, Splat Bomb Rush. But if you want a cool looking Charger uh, and some extra gear that you can only get through the amiibo, this, I feel like Splatoon, Splatoon 1 has one of the best uses of amiibo. I could have just showed off the extra dialogue here. I didn't have to play the, the final boss again yesterday. Okay, well, this part's a little bit more difficult because you have to have a full charge and hit the, the thing back at him. So you have to have a full charge prepared. However, you can shoot them back at long distance. You just have to be prepared. Doing little hoppies. Just trying to shoot down the little rockets kind of sucks. But if I just don't worry about them though, and just shoot them. Okie doke, Triple. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Y'all ready for this? Ignore the rockets. Only go after his big bomb. <laughs> I 
Now he's doing the whales. Oh, do you not even need a full charge? Did I just tap shot that back at him? Why'd they make this so easy? Like, most of the Octarian just die in one hit. I'm gonna try and tap shot the next one. Okay, no. It's a two tap shot. That's stupid. Or like a quarter charge. I'm here, Sir Octavio. Wait till the last second for that one just to make it look cool. Alright, well I kind of wanted that pad. Make him waste his whale. And shoot me, I dare you. Do it. Peep this. Peep these nuts. Got him. Handle my spicy wasabi beats. No, I can do whatever I want. My armor. And now we have the Octo Balls. Throw your fist at me, I dare you. Do it. Do it! Uh, give me the Inkzuka. The Inkzuka's probably... Oh, well, that's my first loss of armor. This guy's just here. I don't know why these aren't exploding as well. <clears throat> Please stop. I'm just gonna zooka this. Good. Get my armor back. I'm about to get mashed up. Now, I don't know if what Octavio's big bomb thing there is, if it's supposed to be that, but it reminds me of one of them, one of those stress balls. Where you squish them and, like, the ooze comes out. You know what I'm talking about? It's got the same pattern. Almost done with this fight. Get out of here. Another Izuka, which I'll hold on to. Okay, these right here suck. Okay, the good the octa ball just fell. So remember where the path is. Oh, we're standing on nothing. Well, actually, I never noticed the uh, the gusher thing from underneath there. 
There's a whole tube of like the gushers. How I never noticed that. Let me live, Sir Octavio. My final part. Yeah, look at the look at the gusher tubes. How have I never seen those? <laughs> nice attention to detail to make me appreciate the fight even more. Like it's underneath every single one of them, and also the launch pads. I think that's cool. Now, we're gonna move even closer to him. I don't feel comfortable being this close, but this is what we're doing. We can get you. You. Uh, give me the bubbler. <clears throat> There's not much else to say about the Octavio fight that I haven't already said, other than that it's cool. I didn't see the, the fist because I was talking. <laughs> It's still dope that this fight exists. I will always appreciate this fight. I've, I've done this DG Octavio fight so many times on my own. It's just been a long time other than, you know, yesterday. Let me stop spawning enemies right in front of me. You only have it in your right earbud? I think Callie and Marie's voices are in both earbuds, so you're only hearing like half the song. Keep spotting those guys, which are easy to hit. That should be the final hit before he does the big bomb, I hope. You only hear Murray. <laughs> Debatably, those are the best vocals, so... Yeah, I don't wanna... Okay, now that we still have to do it one more time. I don't wanna continue the Kali versus Marie Wars. Both idols are awesome, and I like them both. Pedal to shake the bomb. I take you dislike Splatoon vocals. I mean, a lot of people who do not play Splatoon dislike the Splatoon vocals. <laughs> like, I see that a lot of, like, a meme of, like, uh, like a meme of like someone dancing around and it's like Splatoon players when they hear someone gargling piss. I do think this ending part goes on a little bit too long. Like he doesn't do the bomb. Like it just, it's just constantly dodge the bombs, killer whale, dodge the bombs, killer whale. And then there's Friday Night Funkin'. I was not the biggest fan of Friday Night Funkin' at first because just like I don't play rhythm games but I have been watching a lot of Friday Night Funkin' videos recently of just like all the really cool mods that people have made uh I just watched last night for like an hour of like this mod that someone made can this guy fucking do the the rocket do I have to step closer to him or something
It was a mod of, like, versus Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, but it's, like, the Ultra Instinct Shaggy where he's, like, an immortal god. Which, honestly, that meme is great. I love, like, Super Saiyan God Shaggy. That meme is really good. Alright, get the hell out of here. Stupid Octavio. I was like, I didn't like look at a lot of Friday Night Funkin' stuff for a while until I, um, like I just felt like seeing the music because I, I thought the music was good. Also, here you go. We have Hero Charger. And now that is everything on the Inkling Girl Amiibo, or Squib Grill. Uh, I like that the Amiibo in this game just kind of stay here in the Amiibo box until you turn them off. In Splatoon 2, they always disappear. Uh, but we can actually go to Sheldon's real quick. You can see the weapons I have bought and haven't bought yet, but... Hmm, wait. Are those some of my, gr my grandpappy's long-lost br blueprints you have in your possession? Where did you find them? Let me see those quickly. So there we go. As you know, I can't let anyone handle my wares without the proper level and, of course, payment. Uh, but let's see. At your current level, you can buy the Hero Charger Replica. Uh, though it pains me to admit, uh, admit it, I couldn't reproduce the technology used in those blueprints. But I did manage to remodel a standard Splat Charger so that it looks like the gun in the picture. Cool, eh? So here you go. Hero Charger Replica. It is just the Hero Charger. But it's, it's, it's just a Splat Charger, but now you get to use it in multiplayer. Uh, in Splatoon 2, there is a Hero Charger that you just get to get normally. Uh, but this is the only way to get the Hero Charger in Splatoon 1. And I love the hero aesthetic in this game. I love the way the hero weapons look. So there you go. Uh, also, I haven't shown off the training rooms. So I may as well just do that while we're here. The Splatoon 1 training room is a little bit weird. Uh, where, like, there's no moving targets like in Splatoon 2. Oh, look at this gun. Hold on, I want this. It's like a weird- this is like a weird spider scope, but not actually a spider scope. That looks cool. Uh, but here, this is just- you get to use it. Also, a full charge from a splat charge in this game apparently does- Actually, no, I have damage up on, I think. So it's doing a little bit more, but there's that. Uh, you also get to see, uh, targets with, uh, different types of defense up. Uh, so you get to see, without defense up, this does- 164 with one main, 154 with two mains, 170, 157, this one's one, uh, 147, this one's 142. The best part about this training room, though, is that there's this, uh, this basketball hoop. <laughs> you can just play basketball. I said you can just play basketball. I said you can just play basketball. I'm not good at basketball in real life, so. It just does a little cheer when you throw it in the hoop. If they would, you know, go in the hoop. <laughs> it's really all there is to the training room here. The Splatoon 2 training room is just better. Uh, but you can get to test grates, other sorts of things, the lines and whatnot. It's not anything super special, but there you go. That is everything on the Inkling Girl Amiibo. <laughs> I feel like I did the same thing. But even when you go into menus and stuff, the inkling or the amiibo that you have active is still here, which is nice. But Splatoon 2 doesn't do that. It doesn't do that anyway. Squib Girl, Squib Grill is going away. Uh, we now have Squib Boy. Sup, player? Thanks a ton for calling me up. I heard you've been making waves around the city. And I've got an inkling that you're the type of inkling who's up for a challenge. Want to give one of my roller challenges a go? I heard you've been doing work in Octo Valley. Wearing that crazy get-up wrecking Octo Bros and junk. That's where, uh, that's when I knew for sure that you've got what it takes to try my challenges. Uh, all you gotta do is beat the same missions using a roller weapon. So are you game? I've got some dope rewards lined up if you can pull it off. So you can see, uh, the level, World 1 is the same, uh, but some of these levels are different. Uh, so you don't play the same levels over and over, it's just some of the same levels. So it's harder to play them with a roller. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water, because I need it. Uh, 
Why does Shadow P his attack count as fire? It doesn't count as fire, it's just Shadow P always deletes uh, effects. That's its thing. It makes the zombies go faster, but it also it does more damage and uh, stuff. So now you get to see the hero roller. So now we have to play all these levels as a roller. Also, there is no vertical flicking in Splatoon 1. This is what jump flicking is in this game. It's just the roller flick, but you jump. Uh, you want to pair... Uh, what is it? You want to pair... Uh, Shadow P with Sap Fling. Uh, Sap Fling is the only thing that I believe does not affect it. There we go. So you have the Sap Flings to slow the zombies down while the Shadow Peas are speeding them up, so I think they just go normal speed. Also, with the roller, you can squish them. Uh, can I get this? I can. We still have to do all of World 1 again. Nope. Can I squish you from behind? I can. Alright, we're just gonna roll them over, because that's what we can do here. They're not really gonna stop me. Also, with other stuff in this game, uh, something that used to be, I mean, it still is used in Splatoon 1, uh, but Dynamo Rollers used to use a lot of Stealth Jump. They still do in this game, but Stealth Jump in Splatoon 1, uh, slowed down your jumping, uh, by, like, half-ish, uh, when you jump in. And it also always hides your jump location. In Splatoon 2, it doesn't slow down your jumps. Uh, how, however, it does let people see your jump location if they are close enough to your jump location. Uh, but they nerfed the entirety of Stealth Jump- or They nerfed the entirety of Stealth Jump in this game just because of what Dynamo Rollers used to do where they would Stealth Jump in and flick you midair. They made it so that you can't- uh, stealth jump and flick at the s- or like, do like an attack at the same time until you've officially hit the ground. I just thought that was an interesting bit of trivia because I was watching a video and they talked about it. Nice. Oh, snap! You rocked that challenge! Here's your loot! And so with the roller, you, you roll, you squish. That's the roller's thing. So again, I am gonna be speed running through most of these, because we don't need to get power eggs. <laughs> okay, it stopped noticing me when it was right next to me. Can I get up? That'd be sick. It is harder to hit certain things with the roller. Oh, it's probably- ow. I would say it's a lot easier to beat Octoballs, but actually not really. Kinda. Let's paint the wall like that. We may as well get that over here. And if only vertical flicking was a thing. I have fond memories of playing the Splatoon 2 single player. Uh, cause like, I beat the single player all in one day like I did with this game's single player. Uh, but like, I would like, bring my Switch to school and like, other places and like, do the, uh, other challenges. Uh, because, uh, to unlock the other- Hold on, I have to sneeze before I finish that sentence.
Bless me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to unlock all the hero weapons in that game, you have to play every uh, level in the game as that weapon. So you have to play like the single player like eight times. <laughs> Seven or eight times, I forget how many uh, weapons there are. Uh, but I would just bring my Switch places and just do the levels. We're not going to be unlocking everything in the, uh, the Splatoon 2 full playthrough when we do that. We're just going to do the single player normally. Pretty much one shot the cage. <laughs> I do so I I deal I do still sometimes boot up Splatoon 2 single player just to mess around, not do a whole lot. Like the single player stages in Splatoon 2 are more fresh in my head than the Splatoon 1 stages. But now the Splatoon 1 stages are more fresh in my head because I just played them and now we're doing them over and over again with the Amiibo challenges. Outside of today as well, I might still want to make it like a small stream series of me going back to Splatoon 1 and playing on this Smurf account uh, in ranked and stuff just to see how it goes. Uh, but holding this gamepad still really hurts my hands. <laughs> Uh, after, like, the five hours I played it on stream yesterday, the one hour I played off stream to get myself to level 10, uh, and now doing all of this, I'm not gonna be touching this game for a while after today. <laughs> At least, like, maybe, like, a week? I don't know. Because the way you have to hold the gamepad in your hands and move it all around, I love the, the gyro aiming in this game. As... Two with Splatoon 2, because this the gyro is like the best way to play. However, the gamepad hurts to hold, so. Um wah, 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 very useless Inksuka that they put right at the end of the level. And then, yes, the gamepad is chunky. <laughs> I did, however, find it comfortable to play Pikmin 3 a couple months before uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe came out. Um, I did an entire playthrough of Pikmin 3. Uh, on just the gamepad with the touch controls. The touch controls for the gamepad for Pikmin 3 is actually not that bad. Like, I really enjoy them. Uh, the, you get some samurai gear uh, for doing the Inkling Boy amiibos, which are uh, amiibo challenges, which I really like the samurai gear. It's cool. <laughs> so now we have to do Octo Stomp as the roller. Alright, so how fast does this kill it? Literally one-shots it. <laughs> yeah, the roller... Really good for these boss fights. Really good for speedrunning the boss fights. There you go, there's Octo Stomp. In all of the Octo Stomp glory. Oh, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I forgot to show off the gear. Uh, now that we got this gear. I'm not gonna put this on yet, uh, but I forgot to do this. 
Uh, because here with the Charger, uh, we get to see the full school uniform. If you want to see the full school uniform in action, this is what the whole uniform looks like. Uh, it has a skirt on the Inkling girl, and it doesn't have a skirt on the Inkling boy. It just has pants. Or, like, your regular pants. Just a regular shirt for the Inkling boy. But the Inkling girl has the skirt, and it's cute. Uh, so there you go. That's... Just wanted to show the Charger with the gear. Because I forgot to do that. <laughs> anyway, back to here. <laughs> I have to slowly walk back. I don't know what you're throwing. Alright, there we go. Yes! <laughs> bad boop, bad boop. So now we have this level again. Uh, we didn't do this as the charger. This level is on the... Excuse you. Excuse you! <laughs> this level is on the Rollers Challenges, is what I wanted to say, but they were being rude. Uh, can you have, give me some armor? No armor? Okay. I'm actually gonna use the Gushers to my advantage. Hello, Octo Stamp. No, you don't. Now let me up. Game. Activate the gushers. The only way to get from destination to destination. Uh, that is on uh, the squid. Which we'll get to when we get to that, when we get to it. Okay, I forgot the way to get through here. I think it's, uh, right? Nope, I'm good at this game. Uh, now it's to the right. Now we have Squish Octolings that helped them. Do they do they let me just go the other way? Hold on. Can I just do this? Yeah, you can just go this way. They don't block it off. Alright, cool. Final checkpoint. Stop it. Usually they block off pads so you just have to do the whole stage, but no. They just leave Kelpdom the way it is. That's a super easy one. Oh, this level's back. I like this one. I think it's really cool that uh, in the Octo Expansion, spoilers for Octo Expansion, but I've talked a lot about Splatoon 2 and also Octo Expansion related things in these in this playthrough uh, of the single player and also this. Um, one of the levels, or a couple of I think it's like two of the levels in the Octo Expansion, actually take place in the Splatoon 2 tutorial level, uh, which I really like. So it's just a callback to this, where you get to play in the tutorial level. Look at them, they're so cosmic. Uh, don't hit me. It's rude. It's rude. Make me break my armor.
Come on. Okay, these a little bit more difficult because you have to get super close to him. However, he does die in one hit, so never mind. Forget what I said. <laughs> Forget what I just said, those are actually pretty okay. It's just a little bit of a pain to get closer to him, uh, but he does get one shot. All right, now we have Sneeze Man, Sneeze Kicks, whatever the hell this thing's name is. I'm gonna call him Mr. Sneeze Kicks. Octo Nozzle. Mr. Sneeze Kicks is his name. One shot that. Paint the wall. Bop. Get you. Get the back part. Bonk. I would like it if you appropriately died right about now. You are literally the most non-threatening Octarian boss ever built. There we go, samurai jacket. Like a boss. That was a hype. <laughs> this is all yours, player. You can you can tell that this game came out in 2015. <laughs> I don't think I used to say like a boss. I don't think anyone says like a boss anymore. Really? I didn't hit that balloon? Roller hitboxes suck. <laughs> I feel like Like a Boss was slowly dying out by the time this game came out. Whee! And also a bunch of other really cool phrases, like on fleek. Because this fleek was used in this game. Callie said it once. I already said that already, but... I'm, I'm just gonna grab this just because I feel like it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Me up. Right, please let me inkzuka this properly. Nope, I just miss. Nope, well, we're fine. I'm gonna pick up the second inkzuka. Because I feel like it. I'm gonna listen to this again. It just it randomly plays the tower control music right here. I mean, yeah, drip is now part of our vocabulary in the in this part of our timeline. Uh, probably in like another like two years, we will lose the word drip and say something else. Sauce. 
bike board, it was your turn to, to start a trend. Start the trend of people saying they have sauce. I think sauce- I think saying having the sauce is already a thing, actually, so never mind. Ah, that's just rude. Hitting the sauce? I don't drink alcohol, and I don't plan on drinking alcohol, so I've never heard that before. Really? Get out of here. Sauce boss? That's something entirely different. <gasps> okay. You're not gonna let me through and I'm just gonna fall. Get out of here. Now the octoballs are no problem. Just knock them away. <laughs> Hitting the sauce maze will mean taking a shower. I know the hole's right here. This whole part. This whole part with the roller is actually kind of scary. I think it's to the right. It's not to the right, it's to the left. And then it's to the right. Yep! No Octobombers allowed. Splatoon 2. We're gonna be very close to being prestiged for the first time. Judd gives special dialogue for when you prestige the first time. I made a video about that when I first prestiged. It was before I did regular content. And now we have the first flutter level. Which this level, the flutter levels are not that bad when you're doing the roller challenge because you can, you know, just do this. And it makes it really easy to navigate. And you are- you do just end the level underneath a giant deactivated flutter. That's really cool. Hey, what am I doing? Let's go over here. Actually, can I just do this? You don't even need to go the other way. You just throw a bomb at it. Oh, well. Cool. Mm, you're not allowed to exist. Oh, I am running out of ink. Here's what the hero roller looks like without any ink. <laughs> I 
How weird is it? Go here. Rude. Sap fling throwing arcade cabinets is weird. What do you mean? That's what it does normally. Uh, where's the key? <laughs> uh, sad. I don't remember where the keys are by heart in these levels. I thought it was back there, but it's not. Uh... I don't know- I don't know where the key is. Is it in the middle? Oh yeah, that's right. It was this guy. I can't get to him. Can I, like, throw a bomb over the wall? I can just squeeze right in there. Where did it go? <laughs> He's just gone! Um... Why is- why is it just gone? There he is. Back here. And then I just fucking die anyway. Alright. Is it just right down the middle? That's gonna be right here. Cool. I understand now. from here. Yeah. I only want to play the good stuff. Which, to my knowledge, the good stuff is the stuff that I'm already playing. For some reason, the models on his shoes look really weird. I know what it means. Octo Whirl. Get him to get stuck right there. Bonk. When I was trying to play Splatoon 1 Turf last night to hit level 10 so that I could start smurfing on this account, uh, I was getting, like, nothing but disconnects on, like, like random teammates of mine would just constantly DC. So even Splatoon 1 is not, uh, safe still. From the weird disconnection stuff. I don't know why people were disconnecting in Splatoon 1 Turf War, but they were. Get out of here. Like, random meme hacks and stuff is not what I look for when trying to play things, unless it's like the specific gimmick. Like, what Pikmin Wars was, because that was really cool. Like, I don't really plan on playing Bikmin. I do know there's custom caves in Bikmin. Also, here's the samurai shoes, like a boss. I do know there's custom caves and stuff in Bikmin, and there's like weird Waluigi <laughs> Wallywogs and stuff. And the models are funny. I know there's some Splatoon references in there. However, I don't want to play it. And even when I talked to Ray about it, Ray was like, this sucks. I don't want anyone playing it. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, whip my armor. Yup! Through all of this. It's crazy how many power rings you get when you play the single player levels a bunch of times because you have to do this. I will go back and upgrade pretty much everything. Oh, I need that. Stop it. Everything that I can upgrade by the time we're done with all this just to see where it's at. Armor. Give me that. Hi, Elite Octoling, you're dead. Hi, Elite Octoling, you're dead. I expected it to be a launch pad, but it's not. There we go. Tumbling platforms. <laughs> I do remember there's a roller level like this in Splatoon 2 single player where you have to use the roller in a platform level like this. In the moving platforms. Bop, bop, bop. Knowing for you. Uh, can I get up here? Can I get up here? No bombs for you. Give me them. Let me up. This one. So wait. Isn't it past the final checkpoint? <laughs> to find the, uh, the scroll. It was right here. This is a weird placement for the scroll. And I want the the eggs just because they're here. These levels are definitely a lot easier when vertical flicking is a mechanic. But it still works pretty well. Good. Next, uh, unwelcome thing. Oh, here's the, uh, Urchin Underpass level. <laughs> Last night when I was trying to do, uh, turf stuff to hit level 10, the, st uh, the stages, uh, right after I had stopped streaming were Urchin Underpass Salt Spray Ring Turf 4. I did say that Saltsbury Rig doesn't show up in Ranked anymore in Splatoon 1 because it's banned because of how, about how bad it is, but it does show up in Turf War. You know, I want to bring this Inkzooka to the boss fight. After playing this and then going back to the other urchin underpass like the like the actual urchin underpass it feels so weird because like the middle part is so close uh, like closed in 
in this old version. Yeah, we're not taking the bomb rush. It's like, can I just do this? Oh, there's an ink rail? I didn't even know that was there. I don't even remember seeing this. There's an ink rail here? To get around? Why would you need this? I was noticed how starting in World 2, every world has one Octane level and one UFO level. It does. Usually there's one Octoling fight level in every thing after, uh, also here's a new minigame. Everything after World 1 and Splatoon 2, there's at least one, uh, defeat all the Octolings. Uh, get the Zapfish, mini, mini Zapfish shard things. That's a mechanic in that game. We'll get to it when I play it. I'm not entirely deciding what date I want to stream Splatoon 2 single player at yet, because I, I just don't know. However, it is going to be soon. You can just break all of the teeth. Soon TM, yes. I'm just curious. Hi. Now, I can probably like roll them all over, but I don't want to try it. Alright. Goodbye, Octoma. Racer. Only three more levels with the roller to go, and then Octavio again. But with the roller. This one might be a little bit more tricky to hit the, the switches with. I'm not sure. Uh, I am taking the Inkzuka, because the Inkzuka is cool. Oh, uh, the game doesn't let you knock the Octoballs out of the arena. It doesn't let you cheat. Don't kill me. That'd be rude. I just walk straight into a blob lover? Only you can answer that question. So I don't know why I'm doing that. Can't I just... Oh no, you have to go do it from below. I cannot do it from up top. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, that's cool that the floor just went out from under me. Uh, there are snipers. I would have liked to continue to use the... The Inkzuka in this section. We're still good, though. No octoballs for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Switches. Thank you very much. You give me a bubbler here. 
Oh, it's because there's flutters, that's right. We're fine though. Oh, the key's right there. You're dead though. Plus 10 for bubble. Pinwheel power. Now we have the other moving platform level, but with the roller. Let's get through here. Do not care about anything else. Wop wop wop. Uh, I do remember that's a that's a zuka. Uh, never mind. There is a zuka somewhere. There it is. This to activate that. It even activated the little ink line for me. Can I actually get those from here? I can. Nice. Shit. Are my bombs upgraded? No, they're the default bombs. I didn't know if I was going to use my upgraded bombs. I should have probably checked earlier instead of, you know, playing like an hour and 45 minutes of this and then wonder. Here with your stupid bombs. Alright, well, that's upsetting. They put that right there, and then there's two guys. Hold on. No, go away. Go away. Get those balloons. Stand on them properly. Just do this. Now we gotta get through. Here, can I be a gamer? No. Alright, well I missed one, whatever. We're so close to the end. Bum, bum, bum. Here. Oh, uh, that's it. Yes, paint the wall. Then we're good. Defense. Alright, one more with the roller, and then Octavia. I have to go to Salt Spray. See you later. Salt Spray's super annoying. <laughs> Especially when it's in Turf War, because the way this stage is laid out, if you have, like, your spawn and like up to this part of the stage and then the entire back area and not care about anything else you win by default just because of the the way turf is on this stage also something i didn't mention at all but it's a Splatoon 2 mechanic, is that when you roll for like a second or two, you, you speed up when rolling? That's a Splatoon 2 thing, it's not in... Uh, it's not in this one. So you're just, you're just rolling slowly this entire time. I should have probably mentioned that at the beginning, instead of doing all of the levels. To mention that fact about roller in this game, don't speed up. 
Alright, here we go. By doing Octavia, we unlock the Hero Roller Replica. And then we get to the good amiibo challenges. Because these have been fun, but then there's really cool ones. Pretty much the same, you, you, you can just one-shot his fists, you just have to wait for them to get really close because you're, you don't have range as a roller, you don't have a lot of range as a roller. Oh, I wanted it to be funny. I wanted to wait till the last possible second. Oh, he just does it again. I'm surprised they didn't one-shot me. Can I throw bombs at it? You can't. Bombs just go right through it. Get out of here. What are you talking about? I missed. Fired, and then I missed. And then I fired again, and then I missed. You stupid fists. Bonk. Oh, lame. I mean, on the platform, that happened with the charger one as well. I just didn't get on the platform. Octo nuts. Blah. This whole phase with the sponges. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't care. I'm gonna get as close as I can to him. I want to try and roll the bomber over, but that's not how that works. Up. Again, we're just gonna get as close as possible because I said so. I do not hit the sponges, that's rude. I'm gonna stay right here. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I am almighty. platform. I definitely do know who I'm messing with because I've beaten you several times already, within the last 24 hours even.
We are getting close to the end. I think this one went a lot faster than the Charger one. I don't actually know. Never mind, I could just hit it and have it whiff so that it goes longer. Bonk. Bonk. Stop it. You're being rude. Yeah, bonks. Paint up everything else. I'm gonna get as close to the bomb as possible. Cause that would be funny, right? But it's really hard to look up in this game, like, really hard to look up. Okay, well, I just reacted badly. Do your stupid thing. Fine, I'll go back here. And boom. Stop it! Oh, I almost didn't make that one. We're good, though. Yeah, wait, my... Why did it teleport me out of the thing? Okay. Fuck. Come on, you can go a little bit faster. Oh, there's one over here. I don't think I can, actually. Okay, I don't know how I didn't hit that. I'm just getting cocky because I've done this fight so many times and then I'm messing up. I don't know how I didn't hit that! Really? Just give me your death. Super close. Ow, rude. I'll go back and grab this armor. Uh, I'm not looking up. It's really hard to look up. Oh my god, game, please. Please, just kill it. Get him the heck out of the way. Alright, he's gonna do the thing now. You do have to get really close to him. I now know how to activate this every time. And the final hit. Never mind, because it was really fast and the roller is slow. Alright, never mind. This was definitely not faster than the <laughs> the charger attempt. Just because of that. Okay, I'm gonna have to bubble here because 
There's too much stuff happening right there. There we go. Octavio... Dead. Cross fade to nut. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I just say it because it sounds funny. That is every inkling boy challenge done. I acquired the hero roller. That is everything with the inkling boy. Breaking news, Kelly and Marie have news because two hours have passed since I started the stream, which means that the stage has changed. <laughs> because the, the stage has changed at four hour intervals in this game. So now we get to see the news. Because the news, you have to see the news every single time in this game. Whatever set, like you can just choose not to see the news in Splatoon 2. Like you only have to see it once unless Salmon Run opens up, in which case you have to see it again. Uh, but no, here it's different. Museum Dolphonsino. So what are the absolute, uh, what are the absolute must-sees in this museum? The exit. Based Marie. Brought a pit. Uh, do you think they're, what do you think they're extracting from this pit? Salt? Uh, you're pretty, or you're usually pretty salty after battling here. <laughs> Mood. Please do not have more, I swear to god. Walleye? Ooh! Walleye? Yes. I wonder what our old co-workers are up to now. Everyone was so nice. Even when we messed up. Oh, yep, here it is. Never mind. <laughs> I fucking knew it was gonna be Moray. Moray Towers always shows up when I want to play this game. So if Judd ever called in sick, what would happen? I don't even want to think about that. Stay fresh. Uh, it's gonna be Moray Zones, right? A Rainmaker. <laughs> Walleye Moray Rainmaker. Uh, great. Awesome. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to play a little bit of that. I do want to show off the samurai gear. Here is the full samurai outfit. We didn't get the roller yet, but here's the samurai outfit. It's got damage up, special charge, and special duration. Rainmaker. This game is pretty neat. I do prefer Rainmaker in uh in Splatoon 2 though. I just clicked the lobby button. No, we're not we're not doing the lobby. No weapons. <laughs> weapons, please. Great Grand Crap- Grand, grand Crap, he's Long Lost Blueprints. You know what, he's- he is Grand Crap because he's the product of Schellendorf Institute in Splatoon 2 and no one cares about Schellendorf Institute. Though it pains me to admit it, I was simply unable to reproduce technology using those blueprints, but I did manage to mo remodel a standard splat roller so it looks like the thing in the picture. So here we go. Hero Roller Replica, it is the same as the regular Splat Roller with Suction Bomb and Killer Whale, but now it looks like this. So there you go, here's every unlock from that. We will take a look at the minigames afterwards, but here's the Hero Roller with the Samurai outfit. And now we do the coolest ones. In my personal opinion, they are the coolest challenges that you get to do here. Use a different amiibo. We now have the Inkling Squid. Who I just called... Squib. I called him Squib Boy and Squib Grill. So now it's just Squib. Why hello there, friendo. Thank you kindly for summoning me here. I can see you're just itching for some, uh, some way to test your skills. Well, I've been thinking up some challenges that might float your boat. What do you say? You think you're up to the task? By the by, I hear you've been making quite a splash over in Octo Valley. In fact, I saw you at it, wearing outlandish gear and fighting odd creatures. I think that proves you have what it takes to attempt my challenges. What do you have to lose? I have some nice rewards if you do if you win. So here, uh, some challenges are uh, timed missions where you play only as Kraken. Uh, and some of them are, you have a limited amount of ink to complete the level. So we have a Kraken 4 minute time attack. You play the entire level as Kraken. Kraken is one of the specials in this game. Okay, no, the entire, uh, like, you can still shoot, but your squid form is just replaced with Kraken, so... Here you go. Kraken was one of the specials in this game. It was one of the coolest specials in this game, even though it was, like, super OP. Uh, 
And the thing I mentioned uh, yesterday about the um, the possible playable Octoling Octolings in Splatoon 1, Octolings also had their own uh, custom uh, Kraken form as well, if you hacked in the Octoling model to play. So I still have to shoot to get some things done, but your squid form is just replaced with this Kraken. Well, the Kraken was broken because it was invincible. There was two invincibility specials in this game, Kraken uh, and uh, Bubbler. And you can like shoot them to like knock them away, but for the mo but for uh, for a while in this game, you could never actually like shoot away Kraken. It was just always invincible and you couldn't do anything about it. Well, you can't just scoot through everything here because you just leave a trail of ink in your path as Kraken. And you are back to using the hero shot during these, but you also have Kraken, so like... You know. You know, they needed two people to knock them away effectively? Yeah. Nice! Your skills are impressive! Here lies your reward, just as promised. So now we have a three minute time attack. We have to beat the Octoballs level in three minutes. Which is mostly due to just going through all of this. You don't even need to care about the blowfish, you just go up. You don't need to do a lot of the challenges in this level because you could just crack him. Get out of here. However, you can't swim through grates, so you have to still do this uh, for the great parts but other than that it's still you just do this uh, but who needs to use the the blowfish thing when you could just do this also also pressing X to, to do the jump thing also still works here also yes uh, it is probably better to shoot them Uh, but this whole ending part, you don't even have to do. You don't have to use the cannon, you can just go up. And also the Kraken also... I keep saying also. The Kraken one-shots the Zapfish containment light bulb. We have another three minute time attack here. So we just go through normally. Here's the ultimate speed run. I don't know why I'm shooting that, I really don't need to. However, I do need to shoot these. Through. Oh, I'm stupid? <laughs> I don't have any armor when I'm like that. Hold on. Oh, there's no Inkzooka here. Rip. I need to get rid of them normally. Sad day. I can just swim down here. I can pick up the armor, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Especially when I can just do this. I haven't done these challenges in such a long time. 
Because for these amiibo challenges, it's probably been like five years since I since I did these. Also, you get a really cool like suit of power armor. Also, the time attack here is two minutes, but that's really easy. Uh, the power armor is kind of meta in this game because both the helmet and the chest plate thing of it, the chest piece, whatever, the shirt, uh, have quick respawn, and quick respawn was, like, the best thing in this game. So a lot of people use those. Not really so much the helmet, mostly the the armor, the armor chest plate area thing. Cause uh, comeback was used a lot, and comeback was a, a head thing. Boom. Really, really easy to do that. And then I can also grab these. Yeah, it has defense up. Okay, no, I thought the uh, the the head had um quick respawn. I was mistaken. No, this has defense up. I'm my bad. I am quite taken aback by your skills. Here is a fine reward, as I promised. We are good to continue. Uh, so this one we have limited ink. You do not have crack in here. It is just hero shot. But you have to beat the whole level with limited ink. So we only have that ink tank in the bottom corner bottom left hand corner to do the level so we mostly have to just like walk and shoot that you just by shooting a tiny bit it already uses a lot of ink from here uh, a lot of these challenges came back for uh, octave expansion uh, where there's a, a bunch of limited ink challenges there as well. Don't kill me. Uh, I do have to kill all of these. I think I, I, think I can do this. But just killing those enemies normally, like, I cannot refill my ink tank. That's just what we have. Uh, I think this is the end of the level right here, though. So we go- I remember we go left, and then go right. There you go. I did it with, like, a little under half the ink tank left. Noise. I mean, now we have another one, but it's the sponge level. So it might be a little bit tricky. Uh, we have one and a half ink tanks for this one. Might have to get rid of these. There we go. You're not gonna have to do these all the way. You suck. There we go. Can I jump there? Yes, I can. Cool. <laughs> this area might suck a little. Can I just, like, get destroyed? Yes. Okay. There we go. And then we have this area. Probably just need to shoot him once. 
Then I think I can jump over them. Okay, no. <laughs> I know you're able to jump over them. I've done it before. Can I just, like... Okay, no, I'm not gonna risk that. <laughs> Uh, what if I just jump back to this one? Cool. We're good there. Not gonna bother shooting the balloon, we don't need to. So when you have to shoot a whole stream of ink to get that. Still not even at the final area yet. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't think you get your ink refreshed when you die, so like, that ink is still used. I jumped. Stop it. I do not have a lot of ink left. Uh, but now I can just kill them like this. I mean, should be fine. Because this doesn't actually use your ink. Uh, can, can they expire? Can they expire? Thank you. So we should have enough to break this open. Indie. And that one was actually kind of hard. Imagine if it did, I would be very upset. Uh, and here's another time attack. Three minutes. When you can just skip a lot. this thing. I'm just gonna make my own stream of ink. We, we. I understand it's time attack, but I'm just gonna waste time anyway. Break that open just because I can. Mess with these guys just because I can. Uh, we can just get all the way through here. And then final part. I'm just gonna chill right here. Ah, uh, you can't kill me. You can't kill me. Lol. Phew! Uh, and now we have time attack on the Octo Nozzle, which no one cares about the Octo Nozzle. This one's gonna be very straightforward. You have to shoot the little tentacle things because I can't reach them in Kraken form. But then that's not that big of a deal. And then I can just get on top of him like this. I think it is faster just to let the, uh, the spider shot shoot the tentacle instead of the Kraken. I mean, yeah, it's definitely faster to let the spider shot shoot it. Being able to swim forever and not have to paint a path for yourself makes this boss even easier. And you're dead. Last time we ever have to fight the Octo Nozzle. <laughs> grab these just because I can.
And now we have the power armor with QR, because QR is busted in this game. Uh, we have the invisible ink level, but with limited ink. And the invisible platforms level with the ink, with limited ink. Which makes this a little bit more interesting. I don't even need to hit that, because I know the path is right here. We have two full ink tanks to do this one. Hope I memorized it for the most part. Done it a couple times now. Or, you know, I can just, you know, get hit. Uh, I'm just gonna jump through this. Uh, let this guy do his thing, just walk past him. I'm gonna have to shoot these. Get rid of the Octo Bomber. You have some balls? Just gonna power through that. Uh, the hole is right here. Uh, do not care about the boxes right now. Then there's this whole part. Which is definitely the hardest part. I forget where to go. Oh, yeah, that's right, right here. Up to here. Gotta get up this way. Or the squeegee could, you know, eat it. Okay, we're good. And a little bit left for this final, or this isn't even final area yet. We're almost at the final area. Then just paint this. And now it's the final area. Oh, don't kill me. That'd be rude. I'm just gonna go this way and ignore the last one. Uh, no, we're good. Just sneak past the rest. That was fun. Uh, now we have another one of these. But it's the flutter level, so now it's even easier. Because I don't think I can die if I'm cr if I'm a kraken. So. We can just surf on through this whole level. I do have to wait for this guy to move. Uh, and then jump down here. So I'll have to get through here. you up. Just ignore all the boxes. I have to hit this. I mean, I can actually hit it with the Kraken. And then this last part, I actually remember where it is now. Never mind, is it random? Get out of here. It wasn't in the middle last time, but I knew around the area where it was. I wanna hit those. I wanna hit those. Ah, I didn't give up. Agent 3 petting the little plushie makes me happy every time. Uh, shifting splatforms with three minutes on the clock.
Also, we're actually this color ink. Alright, this level like this is actually cool. So we can just scoot through all this. Still have to wait for the platform. It's a really nice green. You know, making all the cycles and everything. Making it even faster. I can actually just climb up this way. And we're done. Oh, now we have uh, uh, the Octo Whirl. But you're really not using Kraken a lot in this fight. There's a pat emoji when you need it. True. Hit me, you fool. Ah, oh, damn it. That's lame. There we go. A little bit slower than I would have liked. Then we have the full power armor set. It has Ink Saber Main. More time attack. We're just gonna ignore all of you. I don't have to do any of these challenges, because I am Kraken, the ultimate life form. Duh. However, I do need to, you know, stay still here. The Kraken is quite big, it's hard to fall, or easy to fall, rather. Do this. <clears throat> I now memorize pretty much all these levels since we played them so many times today, slash yesterday. Bonk. Time attack? Just keep giving me the time attack ones. I enjoy these. They're nice and quick and it lets us get to more stuff in the stream. <laughs> I 
I just don't have to do any of your dumb challenges. I can just crack in my way through. I can ask the Octolinks what's cracking. No, excuse me, you like that one? <laughs> This really original Splatoon joke. I want to get these just because I feel like it. Oh, doing it in under a minute. Even more time attack, give it to me. They don't really use the uh, limited ink thing a lot here, do they? It's the bluefin. We're just gonna crack in our way to the other side of bluefin. Who needs to fight the octolings? Oh, I need to fight this one. Nope, you're not going anywhere. I like that blue. Uh, Octoma. Wow, doing this whole thing is almost about to take three, or it's probably like a little under three hours since I didn't do anything for the first 15 minutes. But, still. Doing this whole thing is actually got a little bit faster than the uh, the full single player. I'm all, lol, just gonna crack in my way out of there. Break that open, throw the bomb in. There's a couple things I do want to show off uh, after we do this whole thing, though. Octomaw, last phase. And Octomaw's gone. Last time we have to fight Octomaw. My favorite main single player boss. I don't know why I'm throwing the bombs when I don't have to. And now we got a new mini game, which is the best one. Uh, and then, here we go. Limited ink. Yeah, there's only. One, two, there's only four limited ink levels in this whole thing. That's a little bit weird. All the rest of the stuff is just time attack cracking. Of course they do it with the sponge levels, where they give you limited ink for the sponge levels. I have two full ink tanks to do this one. There's an Inkzooka right here, and that's not gonna consume any ink. I'm just not gonna worry about the Octolings here, just gonna go. I was hoping I could use the Inkzooka to paint the wall for me, damn it. Remember seeing this one with the world record, world record for lowest shots? I kinda wanna see that. Drag the ink up here. 
please. This is possible, thank you. Just gonna ignore that. Get you. Just ignore the bombs. Just go. I didn't paint the whole thing. There we go. I can't make that shot. I have to paint the floor. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna actually be careful then and kill these guys. I think we have a little bit of ink to spare to do that. Bait out the bomb. I don't trust this. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't let me go in there. Here we go. Here's this part. Yeah, we have- I always like to be super careful, but we have plenty of sparing for that. I can even throw a bomb. I like how the level's called More Ink, but I don't have a lot. Time attack cracking through here. Gamepad battery's almost dead, because the gamepad battery's like- not, like, not even three hours. <laughs> I just plugged it in. And thank God the Switch Pro Controller lasts, like, a year before you have to plug it in. And I know the Joy-Cons have a long battery life, too. But I don't really use my Joy-Cons because they all drift. Which I love using my Joy-Cons for like every game that's not Splatoon. So, it sucks that I don't really use them often anymore. All I really need to do is buy replacement sticks because I actually could replace them myself. Because I've done uh, full replacements. Uh, I did a, a, a fan replacement for my Switch because my fan was acting up. Uh, at the beginning of this year, and I had to buy our fan replacement and, like, open up the whole thing and fix it. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't need to do that. But I also have opened up my Joy-Cons before, and I got really scared. Because, like, you have to take apart a lot of stuff to get the control stick. I don't know if I feel confident enough to open up my cool Joy-Cons and do that. Because I now have to use my gray ones again. I can just climb up this. Because I have these really cool red ones that were from Mario Odyssey. Because I don't have neon red Joy-Cons, I just have red, red Joy-Cons. And they're awesome, but I can't use them because they suck now. And same thing with my gray ones, but my gray ones suck less. Alright, last one. It's the other flutter levels. So this one's also really easy. You can just scoop. Hi there. Just hit level 98. Noise. Oh, you can just go in here? I'm curious, hold on. No, stop it. Okay, no. I didn't know if being inside them... 1198 and Splatoon 2, yes. 
I don't know if being- I didn't know if being inside them would kill me, but I can be inside them when I'm a crack and be fine. So that, that just makes it even easier. I'm not even going to hit the checkpoint, because I'm so good at this game that I don't have to. In Splatoon 2, I'm like level like 500. I've prestiged a lot. I'm really, really close to prestiging again. I think I'm level 97 star. Uh, I'm level 94 and have four stars, so I've prestiged four times, and I'm about to prestige again. Anyway, now it's Octavio, which is another time attack, but you get the best thing from doing this, because if you beat the time attack here, you get the hero shot replica. It's awesome. <laughs> because why would you use splatter shot when you have, like, the cool one? I really like the hero shot in Splatoon... Uh, freaking Splatoon 2 as well, how it's like a P90 and stuff, but like... The Splatoon 1 hero shot just tops it. Anyway, 14 minutes to beat this fight. Which is more than enough time. Like, that's how long this fight is. Like, this fight is long. But you can just wait for the thing to come to you, stay in Kraken form, and just do it. Like, if you just stay in Kraken form this whole time, you're good. Uh, I believe leveling up every five levels after level 20 in this game. Uh, because level 20 used to be the level cap at the very beginning of this game's life. Uh, and then they changed it to be, uh, 50 later on. And then in Splatoon 2, it's an infinite level cap now. You know, that level cap used to be 50 and then they changed it. Uh, but every level after level 20 leveling up gives you, like, a reward, I'm pretty sure. It's either after level 20 or level 30. Uh, but some of the stuff, I believe the last reward that you get is the Captain's Hat, so you get to use the Captain Cuttlefish Hat. Uh, in Splatoon 2, it's just a Salmon Run reward. Um, but for hitting level 45 in this game, you get the Octo Shot replica, uh, which is the Splatter Shot that the Octolings use. Uh, you don't get the Octo Shot replica in Splatoon 2 until you beat the Octo Expansion. In this game, it is a level-up reward. It's just the same thing as the Tentatech Splatter Shot, but it looks cooler. This fight goes a lot faster when you can do this. And show off, show off your T-Tech tryhard. True. I mean, whenever I play Octo Shot, or whenever I play T-Tech in Splatoon 2, which is not very often, I just play Octo Shot. And I'm just gonna run into the killer rail because it can't do anything to me. Phase. No. Stop it. <laughs> I wanted to paint the sponge. It didn't work. Get out of here. 
I didn't even notice the time. Yeah, it did take about three hours to do everything. There's still one more thing I want to do after uh, we finish this. Uh, we're going to be able to do a little bit of smurfing for like a couple minutes. <laughs> if uh, C-minus lobbies even fill. Uh, but in, a, in an hour, I'll be swapping to Splatoon 2 because it's going to be all random Brisco weapons and Salmon Run. And that's how we're going to end the stream. I don't like missing those rotations. Those are the best rotations. They only happen like once every three months. Two more phases to go. Shoot your fists. There's no reason to have an invisible platform there. Rip the Inksuka. It's not gonna give me it. Get yourself out. But keep in mind, this fight started as a uh, as a 13 minute challenge, and we're just getting to the five minute mark <laughs> right now. Like this, I like this fight, but it is very long. That's rude. The killer whale is in the way. Final phase. Darn you, no radio with it. <clears throat> I didn't see the fist. Do your stupid fist move. Oh, I pushed him off. I'll shoot one of them just for good measure. Also rip the bubbler, just more power eggs. Why do you keep finding people using MPU and turf? Uh, depends on what weapon it is, because certain weapons with MPU uh, increase their painting capabilities. One was grim? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's gonna get super aggressive with him. Let's stay right here. Hit me. Rip him. I 
Come on, do the move. Dub stop me into oblivion, but ah, oh, you brood broke my armor. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen it go that fast. <laughs> That was a bit rude. Let me hit the thing! Cuttlefish, help me! The final stay back here! I, th I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. I'm just gonna go back this way. <laughs> Let me just shoot it. What if I just shoot it and not care about the Kraken? I get out of here. So you see, if you back up, he'll just follow you, so he lands on top of you. Right, I'm gonna this way, see you later. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Bonk. Crossfade to Bork! And that is all of the Amiibo challenges! We now have the Hero Shot Replica. That is everything here. So now we can go to the shop. And do the Grandpappy's Blueprints. And now we have the Hero Shot Replica, which it looks really freaking cool. And I love it. It's still Burst Bomb, Burst Bomb Rush, but whenever I use Spider Shot in this game, it's this. Uh, and then we can put on the power armor, defense up, quick respawn, uh, and ink saver main. So you go, here's the power armor in this game. It looks a lot better in Splatoon 2 when you can wear long pants. Uh, so that way you can kind of like complete the look. It's because when you have the shorts, it just doesn't really look good uh, with the full thing. But you get this power armor uh, for doing that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Octo Valley button. We're going to spend the rest of our power eggs just because we can. <laughs> uh, so upgrade gear. We can see the max upgrade spotter shot uh, in Octo Valley uh, does this. So you can go fight DJ Octavio and beat all the levels again like this. Just have a big stream of ink. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go back in there. Stop that. Let me back in. But yeah, you get this. Uh, and then... Nope, not Sunken Scrolls. Uh, this. Uh, I think so we can just do this. We're not going to be able to fully upgrade everything, but I'll get the... Curl, uh, the Seekers, Splat Bombs, uh, and then the ink, the, the Times 2 Ink Tank. And there you go. That's everything I want to be able to level up. But now we have a thick Ink Tank and can just kind of do this for... A really, really long time. Like, it lasts a long time. And also the, uh... The upgraded Burst Bomb. Upgraded Seeker. You know you know the drill. That's everything we're gonna do there. There's actually one more thing. And by say one more thing, I mean two more things. Uh, that we're going to take a look at here. Uh, I have back here, I need to get them. Some cool things. I need to move some other stuff around to get to them, though. Uh, because I have them in cages. I need to get their cages. Uh, I have my Octoling Amiibo sitting on top of the other one. I'm gonna have to move these back. Uh, I can grab you. 
So here in their cages, I have Callie and Marie. I have the Callie and Marie amiibos, and they do things in this game. I have them in cool little amiibo plastic cases. Uh, I sadly do not have the Pearl and Marina amiibo in their cages, yes. <laughs> I sadly do not have the Pearl and Marina amiibo. Those are the only Splatoon amiibo that I care about that I'm missing. There are like alternate colors for the Splatoon 1 amiibo that I'm missing, but I don't really care about those. Uh, they do the same thing. Like they're the, the, just the same amiibo challenges, but they look different. Uh, and I think there's alt amiibo as well for Splatoon 2. Uh, I at one point was, I did order the Splatoon 2 Pearl and Marina amiibo off of eBay one time for like $60. But, like, it was the cheapest Pearl and Marina amiibo on the entire website. So I bought them. And then, like, a week went by. When, like, after, like, it said it was I was scheduled to get the amiibo and then they never came. So I contacted the seller. I'm like, hey, I never got these. Where are they? Uh, they got lost in the mail. And the guy who sent them to me never got a receipt for them. So they, he just refunded me the money. <laughs> I would like to get the, the Pearl and Marina amiibo before... Splatoon 3 comes out, so I can actually get the Pearl and Marina gear from them and stuff. I have not dusted off my amiibo in a long time. <laughs> I should probably do that. Uh, but I keep Callie and Marie in the little cases to, you know, have them not be dusty. They're like the coolest amiibo I have. So we're gonna do Callie first. Because, uh, bet we just save the best for last. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but we can scan Callie. There we go. Hold on to your tent to- Wait, where's Marie? And where am I? You're trapped in the cage, Callie. I was just about to play a show, and then the next thing I knew, I showed up here. Say, you don't want to hear me sing, do you? I'm taking requests. So here, you can actually play uh, all the special songs that they have. So there's Ink Me Up, which is the song that used to play during Splatfests. Uh, when you played Splatfest, uh, matches. Uh, Now or Never, which is the Now or Never Splatfest version. City of Color, which is the, uh, song that would play in the hub during a Splatfest. Uh, Maritime Memory, which is the credits theme. Uh, Calamari Incantation, which is the final boss phase two theme. And Bomb Rush Blush, which is Callie's solo single. Uh, but we could do Ink Me Up, just to hear it. Because I love this song. You actually get to have, when you do it, you actually put on the Cali shirt. If you do Marie, you get the Marie shirt for the Splatfest. And you get to just chill in like a Splatfest hub. And you get to see them do their thing and listen to the music. Except I'm wearing this power armor, so it's, you know, this, but... You get to watch them dance. I should probably go to Callie since this is Callie's thing, but see Callie dance. And I have my shaky hands hold the camera. I'm gonna try and get both in the shot so you can watch them both dance. Because they have synchronizing dances. Uh, they have special dance moves for these songs, even though, like, they didn't dance during the thing. This is the only time you guys get to see these dance moves, uh, in... in-game. Uh, there was a Squid Sisters live concert that these dance moves came from. And I put them in the game. So that's Ink Me Up. Uh, we'll listen to Now or Never. So here's Now or Never, Splatfest version. And then there's just Jeff. Hoping you can see the dance moves properly. wanted to get Jeff off screen. Mm. 
and then it just kind of loops. Uh, there would be Splatfest-related posts around here, if you know that was still a thing. These are just developer images, since Miiverse is no longer a thing. I just think it's funny that this is a developer image that they put in the game. Like, a, a dev of the game made this image and put it in. That's now or never. Uh, City of Color is the uh, Splatfest hub theme. Maybe it's their child's work? Maybe, I don't know. So during uh, a Splatfest, Splatfests in this game used to only be 24 hours. Except for, I think, the Cali and Marie one, which was for the first 48 hour Splatfest. Which I told my story that I never got to play and I feel really bad that I was stupid when I was younger. Still debatably stupid now, but a lot stupider when I was younger. And I never actually got to play uh, the Callie and Marie Splatfest. I would have been Team Marie, and I'm glad that Team Marie actually won. However, Splatfests in this game were really weird. Uh, because they were kind of like reverse popularity contests. Which they still even were in Splatoon 2, because the way points are calculated. Uh, the more popular team would get more matches with the more popular team instead of the less popular team. So, typically, the team that you didn't want to win would win. So, a lot of people would switch sides to make the team they wanted win to win. Uh, I don't know if that was the case for the Cali Marie one, but I'm glad that Marie won. Uh, and then we have Bomb Rush Blush, which is Cali's solo single. This is the only time you get to hear it in-game. Is with the amiibo. Uh, Marie just kind of sits and nods her head, uh, but you get to watch Callie do her thing over here. She has her own special dance moves for this song. I'll stand back a little bit more. Again, excuse my shaky camera. And that's Bomb Rush Blush. Only time you get to hear it in game is through the Amiibo. Uh, we can now put Callie back in her cage. <laughs> there she goes. I don't actually know where to put her now. I guess I'll just leave her here. <laughs> I'll put her away later. Uh, and then we can change Callie out uh, and take Marie out of the cage. You just get to see Marie up close. There she is. I'm freaking, like, the outsides of the amiibo cages are really dusty. I really need to clean my amiibo off. Here's a fun fact for you. I, th I for some reason, decided uh, the last time I cleaned my amiibo uh, to take all of the amiibo that I have, which is, like, over 50 of them, uh, take a big bowl, fill it with water, and just put all of the amiibo in the bowl of water so that it would get all the dust off. Why I thought that would be a good idea, I don't know. But because of that... <laughs> my Smash Ultimate Inkling Amiibo doesn't work anymore. This is the only Amiibo out of all of the Amiibo that I have, which is like 50 plus, that doesn't work. And it sucks because it's cool. Look at the Smash Ultimate Inkling. It's kind of hard to tell it in my own camera, but look at the Smash Ultimate Inkling compared to the Splatoon series Inkling. Like, it's like so much... This is so much better quality because this is a Smash Ultimate Amiibo, and this came out 20... Like, 2016? Uh, this came out... 20... I guess 2019? So... Yeah. I guess the end of 2018, I suppose. So it sucks. I had a really cool level 50 Agent 3 on here, uh, but it doesn't work. Uh, I would have to take apart the entire amiibo and like try and get the thing off the stand to try and fix it. Uh, but 
Uh, trying to scan this into Splatoon would still work as an Inkling Girl amiibo. If it worked. Uh, but it doesn't. So... I don't know what's the best way to try and dust off all my amiibo. Uh, because they're dusty. But I kind of just leave them like that. I'll just put that back. Hello, Angopolis. Marie is here to rock you. Yeah, I bet you are. Wait, who are you? And why am I... What am I doing in this tacky box? <laughs> Whatever. I've played worse venues than this. <laughs> See what you want to hear. Yeah, I love Marie a lot just because of how sassy she is. But you get to listen to all the same songs, but she gets... Uh, Tide Goes Out, uh, which is her solo. So, uh, Callie's was a lot more calm. Or, uh, Marie's is, Marie's is a lot more calm compared to Callie, who is a lot more, uh, bubbly. I want to back up a little more. Now, if only we could get to understand those lovely words that you be spitting. Uh, when you do Marie, you get the Marie t-shirt. Like with Callie, you get the Callie t-shirt. Uh, that's pretty much everything, uh, that is here. Uh, I can go back to, um, to the other stuff. Actually, no, Calamari Incantation has its own... I think Maritime Me uh, Memory has its own special stuff, but we could do Calamari Incantation and see that. So Calamari Incantation has its own stuff. I just want to put the gamepad down, but try and, like, get it into a spot where you can see both. Uh... Good enough! <laughs> and we'll let this go. I really hope the Squid Sisters and Evil have usage in, Spl in Splat 3. I'm pretty sure all the Amiibo will... Um, because these, these still work in Splatoon 2, you get the same gear. Uh, Callie and Marie have different functions in Splatoon 2, uh, with, I don't remember which amiibo gives what, but one of the amiibo gives, uh, the armor, uh, the hero armor replicas, and the other amiibo gives the, uh, like, actual hero outfit from Splatoon 1. Uh, so that's how you get those. Uh, I don't... I think you do get the hero armor in this game by, like, leveling up as, like, level up rewards. I don't remember. Because you don't get that in this game. You just get the regular hero outfit and you get the Octoling outfit. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to be continuing the stream, but for the YouTube video, <laughs> this also took about another three and a half hours almost to do, so it's almost as long as uh, the previous thing. Uh, but thank you for watching the long play of Splatoon and the long play of uh, the Splatoon uh, Amiibo challenges. Uh, relatively soon, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I still haven't decided when I'm going to do this. Uh, because next month is the anniversary of the Octo expansion, and then the month after is the anniversary of, the, of Splatoon 2 itself, so I don't know when I'm gonna do them. But soon I will be doing a full playthrough of Splatoon 2, uh, followed by a full playthrough of the Octo Expansion, which the Octo Expansion stream is probably gonna be a two-parter because the Octo Expansion is long. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you in that. I have other Splatoon content you can watch uh, on uh, YouTube as well. Also, twitch.tv slash Pokeball35. Link in the description is where I streamed all of this. I should have probably plugged it last time, but it said stream highlights in the title of the video, so you know it's from my streams, and that's in the link in the description. Uh, but I will see you in whatever comes next.